Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Escape from Monkey Island. We've made it back home after our ventures to Luca Island and we've discovered that Charles L. Charles is actually our enemy, LeChuck. And he seems to be in line to become the next governor, which is just wonderful. Uh, Elaine suggested we go and speak to the voodoo lady, so that is what we will be doing. But first, let's look at this lamp, because why not? What a strange lamp. It is a bit strange, actually. Is Elaine here, or...? Did she head off somewhere? Not so fine China. Uh, maybe she headed off somewhere. I think she said she was going to like step up her campaign or something, so we'll just I guess leave her to that. Fine. Let us head out of the mansion and we'll head back to town and to speak to the voodoo lady. See if anything else has changed here while we've been gone. I don't know how long we were at Luca Island for, but I assume it was a fair while, seeing as we would have had to sail there and everything. Not exactly the quickest form of transport, is it? It's three o'clock. It's three o'clock. The clock in this game does not match your in well, your PC clock. Like it, it does in secret. My attention that my opponent, Charles L. Charles, is none other than the demon zombie ghost pirate LeChuck. Does Melee really want an agent of the undead legions of heck governing its fiscal policy? I think not. Thank you for your time, citizens. And remember, vote for Elaine Marley on election day. Huh. I mean, seems like she's doing her job. Hey, this place is sold as well. I mean, was she just talking to the voodoo lady about that? <laughs> Apparently so. <laughs> All right, let's uh, look at this thumb. Nothing happened. Which one was it again? It's just the the normal finger, I think, isn't it? Yep, yeah, that's the one. We're back. Ah, Guybrush, I knew you'd return. Did you? How can I help you? Um, what do you know about this old insult doohickey? I'm still slightly curious. I'm still in the market for that. I mean, I'm still slightly clueless. I can see that you're still fumbling for direction. How can I help Elaine with her re-election? How can I help Elaine win her re-election? That depends. What do you know about politics? Absolutely nothing. Then, <laughs> short of stuffing the ballot box, I don't see how you can help her. Great! Better get a stuffing. But if you get caught, the Melee Town Council will string you up, stuff you with crawdads, and let pirates whack you like a piñata. Uh, I don't think I like that idea. Perhaps yeah. it would be best if you steered clear of the election. Yeah, maybe. Fixing elections, probably not our job, right? Actually, I think I can figure out what to do next all by myself. Very well. Absolutely nothing. Right, what do you know about the ultimate insult? I see that you are finally ready to ask me about the ultimate insult. We are. Yeah. What would you like to know about it? Um, what is it? How do I make one? Where can I find it? What is it? I sense that you want to know what the ultimate insult is. Yes, please. Good guess. The ultimate insult is the most coveted and dangerous voodoo item the world has ever known. More coveted and dangerous than the indescribable terrors of Big Whoop? Twice as coveted mm. and five times as dangerous. Wow. Yowie. What does it do? It is a powerful talisman that allows its owner to spew incredibly foul insults. Insults? Ooh. That's all? I thought it would be a potion that turned people inside out or something. But these are no ordinary insults, Threepwood. These are insults spoken in an ancient, forgotten tongue. Insults so vile, so emotionally crippling, that they transform even the fiercest of pirates into an egoless mass of goo nice. permanently. Whoa. Wow. Hey, wait a minute. If the insults are in a forgotten language, how come they're so dangerous? Wouldn't that have the same effect as insulting me in Finnish? <laughs> You'd think that, wouldn't you? But the language used by the ultimate insult is so ancient that it's rumored to be the primal language. The tongue from which all other languages arose. Amplified by the voodoo magics of the ultimate insult, this original language has the power to speak to the very heart of a person's soul and mock it into oblivion. Sounds fun. Oh, indeed. I mean, I feel like we need that. Also, 
do Finnish people actually have insults? Like, I don't think I've ever met a rude Finnish person. They're all incredibly polite. <laughs> how do I make an ultimate insult? I see that you want to know how to make an ultimate insult. That would be useful. Sadly, I have no idea how to make an ultimate insult talisman. What? That's strange. You've always seemed to be the master of all things voodoo-like. Yes, but the ultimate insult was outlawed dozens of years ago in the aftermath of a terrible battle between two ultimate insult-wielding hoon guns that shattered the egos of an entire chain of islands. That's awful and bad for business. <laughs> As a face-saving gesture, the united voodoo workers of the Tri-Island area agreed to gather up and destroy all known copies of the ultimate insult recipe lest one ever be assembled again mm. well where can I find it I see that you want to know where to find the makings of an ultimate insult yes it would be good to know where to start as I said the instructions to build an ultimate insult have been destroyed however I seem to recall that the individual pieces of an ultimate insult can only be found on one island monkey island mm. Oh, yes. It was some other island entirely. Unfortunately, this island's name has also been lost to the vagaries of time. Hmm. Okay, well. Interesting stuff. Very well. What do the uh, Mali heirlooms have to do with all of this? I sense that you want to know the connection between the Mali heirlooms and the ultimate insult. Stop doing that! <laughs> but you're right, this chest contains Grandpa Marley's heirlooms. We're just carrying it around with us. According to Grandpa Marley's letter, his wedding presents to Elaine hold the key to assembling the ultimate insult. But there's so much stuff in these heirlooms that it's hard to separate the presents from the junk. Ah, I sense powerful voodoo forces at work here. Weddings, nuptials, bands of gold. Reveal to us a gift that's old. Hey, a pair of earrings. Whoa. Lacy veils and prenups too. Show us the symbol of something new. Ooh, a necklace. Nice. Maids tinged with jealous sorrow. Bring to light a present borrowed. A pen on a chain? What kind of present is that? <laughs> Very weird. One heart beats where once were two. The final gift is something blue. Oh, the final gift is something blue. Is something wrong? Yes. There should be a fourth wedding gift in here. A blue wedding gift. But my mystic senses detect nothing. <sighs> well, maybe it's still on Luger Island. I don't think so. My voodoo instincts tell me it's somewhere on Melee Island. How curious. Yeah, we're looking for something blue then. Okay. Do you have any idea where I can find the blue wedding present? Do you have any idea where I can find the blue wedding present? Only that it's somewhere on Melee Island. Oh, I mean, that narrows it down a little bit. What am I supposed to do with the wedding presents? What am I supposed to do with the wedding presents? If Grandpa Marley was telling the truth, they hold the key to finding the ultimate insult. But how? If it were me, I'd find the woman who wore those earrings. Eh, probably a good start. All right, I don't need any more of your hoodoo. I don't need any more of your enigmatic hoodoo right now. As you wish, Guybrush. I'll be here later if you need me. Well, we may just need you. I can't recall right now. <laughs> played this game so many times, I can't recall. All right, well, let's head on. Um, Elaine, are, are you having a good time? Shinogums? What is it, dear? I'm kind of busy right now. Um, I talked to the voodoo lady. I talked to the voodoo lady about the ultimate insult. Well, what did she say? She said it was an ancient voodoo talisman capable of permanently shattering the souls of pirates. Yikes! Huh. No wonder a couple of warped cretins like LeChuck and Ozzy want to get their hands on it. Mm. Uh, you want to hear more? Want to hear any more about the ultimate insult? Only if you're going to tell me that it's been found and destroyed. No. Uh, um, not yet, no. Then, I want to hear it. Uh oh. The voodoo lady found the uh, wedding gifts. The voodoo lady found Grandpa Marley's wedding gifts. Really? Let me see. Ugh. What was my grandfather thinking? <laughs> His earrings, they're way too big and they're made of wood. The necklace is okay, I guess, but this pen looks like it was stolen from a bank. Hmm. Maybe these gifts really do hold the secret of the ultimate insult. They clearly weren't intended to be proper wedding gifts. Yeah. Interesting. Alright, well. Well, 
I'm off to find the ultimate insult. Try not to get killed and or cursed, dear. Uh, we will try, but no promises, because we know how these games go. Alright, we've got the fountain over here. We'll uh, leave Elaine to do her pitching, and we will head this way. What have we got here? Somebody's house. We can't go in here, can we? I, I love the thing on the top of the building, though. I think it's really cool. I oh, know we can, it's the shortcut, isn't it? I'm sure I did this earlier in the playthrough as well. Wait, so was she just pitching to the shortcut door? One of the... <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever, alright. Let's hit up the scum bar anyway and see our colleagues. What the hell? <laughs> what happened to the scum bar? Lua bar. What's a lua? Lua bar? Alright, well... Not sure what's going on here. Great pictures of Grog! They've done something horrible to the scum bar! Welcome to the Lua Bar! I'll be right with you. Ah, uh, could you not? What, what happened to our beloved scum bar? There's chopsticks and beverages. Those are some bizarre looking drinks. They're cheap, crummy, mass produced wooden chopsticks. Yeah, alright, we'll take them with us. Could come in handy. Where are all these people? These don't Pardon look like me. Yes. the regulars. Do you know what they did to the scum bar? Do you know what they did to the scum bar? Scum bar? What's that? It's what this place used to be before they redecorated it. It was dark, dingy, smelled like grog gone bad. It sounds disgusting. <laughs> yeah, it was great. It's the best. <laughs> What's good to eat here? What's good to eat here? Do you like sushi? I'm sure I wouldn't. Mm, you need to ease into it then. Order something that isn't raw to start with. Work your way to the good stuff. Good stuff? I hope by that you don't mean the stuff that looks like it lived in the bilge of a ship last week. <laughs> Ooh, you noggy. <laughs> That's the best. Uh, you aren't from around here, are you? You aren't from around here, are you? Does it show? When I travel, I try not to look like a tourist. I like to really get to know the place I'm visiting. Then this is the wrong place. You should be down by the docks, working the ships, drinking grog. It doesn't sound like much fun. This is plenty authentic enough for me. Thank There's nothing you. authentic about sure. this. Okay, well. Look at this place. Look what they've done to it. How dare they. Excuse me, miss. I'll be right with you. Why don't you have a seat first? I don't want to have a seat. I don't like it. Bring back the scum bar. Alright, well, looks like Mr. Cheese's seat is gone. What's this? Stuffed pig. Hey, wait a minute. This little tag says it's pork sashimi? This pig isn't cooked? Ugh. Yeah, I mean... I gave up raw pig a long time Yeah, ago. you don't want to be eating the raw pig, that is for sure. Um... Seriously. So Talor! You are not allowed back here! Close the door before I whack you in the nugget! Mm. Who the hell is that? That's not the guy that we used to see in the scum bar. Let's see what this patron's got to say anyway. Excuse me. Why, hello. Great getup. Thanks, man. Uh, what do you mean, great getup? What do you mean, great getup? Whoa, you look really authentic. Just like a, you know, real swashbuckler. Do you work here? No, I am a real swashbuckler. My wife's the governor. I'm a mighty pirate captain. Whoa, you really get into character. I think it's all some sort of, I don't know, illusion. What's good on the menu? What's good on the menu? Uh, I like everything. Really? That sushi stuff looks pretty gross if you ask me. Well, don't tell anyone, but I don't like it either. But everyone else is eating it. After all, isn't that what real pirates eat? No. I've heard the flaming scuttlefish is the way to go if you don't like sushi, though. Huh, alright, well. That's interesting. Did you know this place used to be a real pirate bar? Did you know this place used to be a real pirate bar? Really? More than this? Oh yeah, they had real grog, real pirates, and real fights. Whoa, sounds great. But, uh, what's grog? Uh, never mind. Enjoy your stay? Yeah, thanks. Oh dear. Disappear for like two seconds to go and talk to lawyers and this is what happens. Well, let's head out. Let's see what else is going on on the island. I wonder if Carla and Otis know about this. And Mr. Cheese. Well, we could go to the docks, we can go to the mansion. Let's uh let's go to 
meat hooks place, shall we? Why is he not turning? There we go. <laughs> Oh yeah, apparently- Hey, look, a full moon. Pick up the moon? Are you nuts? <laughs> apparently we can try and pick up the moon, that's quite funny. All right, let's uh, try and get through this door. Hey, we can go into Meat Hook's house now. That's pretty cool, we couldn't do that earlier. All right guys, well, I tell you what, we will leave it there and we will pick it up in the next one when we will talk to Meat Hook. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to our patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Timely Nighty, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Hobo, Numinous, Kumadim, Paulione, Flossy the Sheep, Johncom555, Chrissy, Paul James and Zoltes. And I'll see you next time.